What is going on everyone? I'm here with my first YouTube tutorial. A lot of people have been asking me how I did my CC on all of my designs. I'm just going to be showing you on my shy design because this is my best CC in my opinion. It's like a very, a lot of people have been saying like very shiny CC. And so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today. So this is what the design looked like in layers. It's all organized, um, like with all my designs. I I'm gonna be doing breakdown videos in the in the future of designs you guys request. And if you have anything you want me to do, please leave that in the comment section below. But um, I'm just gonna take the background out of it, and we're just gonna focus on the players today so this is what it looks like with all of them you can take the front the right and the left off so i'm probably going to start with the front one so i'll show you what that looks like without my cc it, it will have camera on it and if you don't know what that is um i'll be showing you that what that is also so um this one was quite hard because i had to match the colors a lot the colors were very different on each one of them but i think i did a pretty good job on that so this is it without CC, so it's just like plain and kind of like dull and boring. And then you add it back in, and then it's more dynamic, and it looks better, in my opinion. But um, you have to mask your your player out. Um, I'll be doing a tutorial on that in the future, but I thought I would start with my CC first. So um, I'll go into my camera filter, and then I'll break everything else down from from the camera filter. Might take might take a little bit to load. I don't have the best computer. It takes quite a bit for stuff to load, so just hang tight and it should come up at any moment and I'll show you all the adjustments that I have. Alright, here it is. I'll drag it over from my other screen. Just wait for it to load in. Okay, so the temperature I have plus five um that made it more orange and then clarity up 35 highlights down negative 10 you just gotta kind of mess around with blacks white shadows highlights mess around with all that stuff contrast i usually set to 35 um temperature is just up five because it made it everything match more texture you always want to increase to 70 or 80 clarity around 20 this one i also did vibrance and saturation up a little bit just to make it pop and bring it out more and then I messed around with stuff in the color mixer as well um just like the main colors of the jersey so you see there's the yellows I brought to more yellow the oranges I um brought down more or to more orange and then the red I brought down to more oranges as well and that's that's what I did that's all I did in the camera filter and then I'll show you what the adjustments um all the adjustments i did now so i looks like yeah i added um levels just like this camera raw to fully load there we go so this levels is on multiply so to get to levels you go here to this like half circle shaded in circle and then you click on levels and it should bring your levels up and then once you're on um once you click on levels set it to multiply and then on um, this mask right here so this black thing um have that selected and click control i if you're on windows and command i if you're on mac and then that will bring it black so it will there will be none no um levels actually showing what levels do is kind of brings out the blacks and whites so if i take this off it all the shadows that's what i did on this one um and then you take your brush um a soft brush um yep here's brush and then you set it to white so it's selected on white and then you can brush in all your shadows and you basically do the same thing for levels but you set it to screen so do the same exact steps that i just had but set it to screen and place it where the light source would be coming from so where the highlights are um yes yeah, so there's not much more with that that's just kind of the darkening and the brightening and then um i also added a selective color 
So a selective color basically changes changes all the you can change I usually use reds because there's most re mostly reds in skins. You can pick any of these colors. Usually for color correction, you would use red. So see these are all the adjustments I used. You just kind of got to mess around with this. So that's without I mean it's a slight difference. You can't really tell on this one. But it's a very slight difference for that and then the last thing I had was exposure, so I, I it looks like I, yeah, just darkened up the bottom of, of his shoes, so it, um, looked better with a shadow under it, and then the last thing I did was, so you duplicate the player image without, um, so do this before you do your camera filter, but duplicate the layer, see how it's layer 5 copy, so it's a copy of this shy, um, this shy image and then you um and then once you're done with that you click on image adjustments desaturate i'm not going to click it right now because i already have it desaturated and then once you're done with that you're going to go to filter up here other high pass filter and set your high pass filter to 17 it's around 17 to 19 and um then click ok and once it's that you click you put it on soft light and if i take that off it, you can see it just like enhances the image again so it makes it a little bit more enhanced i guess you could say i don't um like posterize that's that's not what the word for it that's another adjustment layer but it makes it more shiny i guess you could say that's that's like the shininess um and then i'll bring you through my all my other ones so again this is the kind of mostly the same thing so you're gonna do the same thing with levels and if i take these off see how it's just kind of boring and then you and the uh, lighting isn't correct but if you add in the levels so this is the brightening and this is the darkening one it kind of it makes the image look way better and then the same thing with the high pass filter um your high pass filter and desaturation and then your selective color this one changes it a lot it makes it more orange and matches it with this um because it wasn't that orange before it was kind of more of a brown instead of that bright orange we're looking for how i did it and then i'll show you what's on this camera raw filter it's gonna take a long time to open up again so we'll just have to wait and then i'm get the left shy is also the same type of cc but i'll also show you that too just just in case you want to see it. Okay, so here's our camera raw. For this one, I this one I increased the temperature a lot more. So if you see if I turn the camera raw filter off, see how this image isn't very it doesn't look good at all. Like it wouldn't be up to my standards of design. But if I add it on, it looks way better and um just like an overall better image. So this one I increased the temperature on the to 15. Don't do it blue. 15 would 15 is yellow and then if you do negative 15 it'd be blue and then exposure actually turned down on this because it was too bright i think and then contrast again 35 again mess around with your blacks white shadows highlights just to make them look good this one i increased the texture all the way up to 80 on this one and then clarity up to 20 around around 20 again and then vibrance is around the same i think the vibrance on the other one was 20 now it's at 16 and 5 so that's what that looks like and then for detail i actually sharpened the image a, a, um a little bit it doesn't doesn't do too much just kind of makes the image it's it's a very very subtle change just makes the image a little more sharper and then this one i didn't mess with the yellows actually just the orange and the reds i decreased the reds to make them way more red um it's at negative 15 and if you see if we bring it up to zero kind of see the difference not not too much again um and then if your orange is to negative 12 so instead of making it yellow it makes it more orange obviously and then that is all i did oh i actually brought up the saturation of the reds to 50 as well as the oranges up to 11 so i did do a little bit um messing around with the saturation you just got to learn how camera raw works and what it does and how you can use it kind of it's it's just a learning process you got to kind of teach yourself 
So I'm hoping this tutorial will help you um, learn CC a little better. Now we're going to move on to the left one. This one is definitely a lot more orange. So again, um, with exposure, let's see, what does this do? I don't think this, it might do, I think it does a little bit something on the left side, it looks like. Not sure exactly what that, that is for, but now the levels again makes it really dark. You gotta just look at where your dark spots are and um, paint it in. So same thing with levels, and then this brightens it up right here, and there wasn't actually too much with this one, because this was the most, this is kind of what I wanted to match the image to the most. And then, um, if you don't, if you don't know how to get to camera, or how to add a camera to something, um, for example, if you just hit filter up here, I know you can't see, um, where it is, because it's cut off the recording but so i'll just find an image because you don't want to do it to a group so see um i'm on my the layer that i want to add camera to so click filter and then see it says camera raw filter right here so then you click on this and that's how you can adjust it like you see for um any of the camera raw filters i showed you so i'll open up the camera raw filter again so you can see what i did with the camera raw filter um this one yeah this one is definitely a more orange image um than the other ones to start off with so with my camera raw filter that's without so again it's just like that other one where the image was very boring and it's very brown and i wanted to make it more orange like so it would pop more so for this one Temperature's up 15, just like the last one. Didn't use exposure for this one. It was good how it was. And then contrast is up to 35 again. And then, like I keep saying, mess around with that stuff. Texture, clarity, you see all that. Nothing with hue and saturation because it was already orange enough. And then my detail up, um, up the sharpening on this one. Color mixer, just messed with reds and oranges. And that's it. You already know what that does from previous things. So that's the basic player CC, and then um, CC also stands for color correction. So if you ever like, what's CC? I don't, I don't get it. That's what um, CC is. It's color correction, just a shortened version. So that is all of this player CC, and then I'll show you what I do for the CC for the whole image. So I mainly use color lookups. You can also use gradient maps as well. So color lookups. Um, I usually choose three or four and then you can see the opacity is different on each of these just to make it look the best This one I really wanted to make the oranges pop. So that's what I did. So For this color lookup, I used three strip This is probably my favorite color lookup and then I sent it to 76 This is the one I usually put the highest because it always makes your images look the best And then this one it looks like it is crisp warm look um, you can download more um, what are these color lookups you can download more co color lookups online personally i haven't i just use the stock ones in adobe um but you see all these are different so it looks like this one is film stock you can just go through all these look at everyone put them to different opacities see which one looks the best this one is horror blue so it makes it um a little more blue you can't really tell because it's so low but see without this it's kind of it's more dull um, I did a TikTok on it and like for my curry one, the CC on that one, because that really enhanced the image to make it look better. But with CC, it makes it look so much better. This gradient map, I think was just make it look, yeah, it was a blue one. So, and it was only sent to 50% or 10% opacity and 40% fill. Opacity and fill, they're basically the same thing. It's kind of hard to explain it. You just got to kind of figure it out yourself and like, see how it works but do you, in photoshop if you're a beginner just go off tutorials like this one right here and that will help you a lot and a lot of stuff you got to learn on your own like i've learned a lot of this stuff on my own and from just like small tutorials and stuff but then over um after all that i have a camera raw filter over the whole thing you see that makes it pop a lot too so honestly cc just literally makes the whole image pop and i'm not a, i'm not even an expert at cc there is people out there who have crazy insane cc that just looks so good i am not an expert at it i just learned it um 
a few months ago when I was just starting. I think when I when I just started getting better with that Aaron Donald design you see on my Instagram. Um, if you don't, if you haven't heard or seen in my Instagram, it's at Mogherby Designs, the same as my YouTube channel. Now, I uh, also have a TikTok, also which is Mogherby Designs. That's where you can find me on basically every every platform. But so I didn't fully. So you see, this is very um, intense CC. I didn't want it this this much. Um, so I had to turn down the fill as you see over here i turned down the fill but this was a preset i got from a pack um you can enter packs that help a lot um this one i wasn't really happy how it turned the yellows like this weird color so at the end i'll show you what i did to fix that but um if you want to see the preset it's you can just pause the video and look at the settings i won't be able to, it's everything is used so i won't i I'll go through it very quickly. Um, nothing was used in curve detail. Here's the detail settings. And then you got color mixer. There's a lot done. Like you can see, see this is what you can make your images look like if you can learn camera raw filter. These, like I said, these are presets. So I didn't do these, um, but they messed around with basically every slider in the whole thing. So color grader, you just got to kind of learn that. I still haven't fully learned that, and then nothing in here. Effects um, looks like a little bit of vignetting or vin. I don't know really how to say it, but it like curves in the edges kind of. And then calibration, he just did the whoever did the pack. I forget who it is. Um, also did some stuff in here. So I'm just gonna hit cancel. Um, you would hit OK once you're done. I'm just hitting cancel because I don't want to mess up anything. But to make the yellows pop, I just duplicated the layer and then the layer from my design and then put it back on top, which would make it yellow. So see the signature. If you take these both off, it makes it all dull. And then you add both back in and it makes it yellow. So this that's my um, tutorial for color correction. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'm usually pretty active on that and I post one to two times. Um, or one to three times a week usually so you can go check out my stuff on there you can also leave um, comments in the comment section and i'll get back to you commenting there as well i will be breaking down the design next video so we also leave what design you want me to break down and also any other things you would want to see from me so thanks for tuning in everyone catch you next week i'm gonna do be doing a video every week have a good rest of your monday